Before David Bowie would be ranked by Rolling Stone as one of the greatest artists of all time, before he emerged as his alter ego as Ziggy Stardust, a cross-dressing science fiction character that would go on to revolutionize the way the world looked at rock stars, before David Bowie took on the role of a space alien turned inventor in the 1976 film The Man Who Fell to Earth, before he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, before he sold an estimated 140 million albums worldwide, before his work would go on to have a huge impact on popular culture then and now. Under pressure. Take it. Ice, ice, baby. And, and I'm, I'm floating in a most peculiar way. Receiving transmission from David Bowie's nipple antenna. I believe I might be of service. Hailing from a London, England working class suburb, young David Jones, he took an interest in music extremely young, picking up the saxophone when he was only 13. Now his father had his own musical ambitions, but he retired those early on, settling for a 9 to 5. And when David was a boy, he idolized his older half-brother Terry, who was later institutionalized for his mental illness and would go on to commit suicide. Without his best friend, David pushed forward, starting his career as a commercial artist and made a go at it in a band and as a solo artist. Now he almost gave up on his music career and started a troupe as a mime. Then he got back to the studio when he recorded Space Oddity and that launched him to worldwide fame. The man went on to produce 25 studio albums. Sadly, we lost him on January 10th, 2016 to liver cancer. My name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the life of David Bowie prior to death here for you on Before They Were Dead. Now this has all happened within the last 24 hours, so please leave your prayers, your condolences, and your well wishes for his loved ones in the comments down below. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. David Bowie was born David Robert Jones on January 8, 1947 in Brixton, England. This is just on the south side of London. His mother Peggy worked as a waitress while his father, John Jones, was a promotions officer for a children's charity. Now both his parents, they came from previous marriages. John, he was in a relationship with David's biological mother and they tried to launch her musical career. When that didn't work out, well the marriage had fell apart. As for his mother Peggy, well she came from a long line of mental illness. A lot of people were institutionalized, a few others had committed suicide. David attended Stockwell Infant School until he was six years old. He earned for himself a reputation as a gifted yet single-minded child who would constantly get into fights. Now young David, he was a bit of a loner. His only friend in the world was his half-brother Terry who was nine years his senior. Terry took young David under his wing. He also introduced him to rock and roll music as well as beat literature. Terry would struggle with his own mental illnesses and would eventually be institutionalized and then go on to commit suicide. After graduating from Bromley Technical High at 16, David started working as a commercial artist. He also continued to play music. He formed a band known as Davy Jones in the Lower Third, and together they put out several singles, but nothing really caught on. David came to the conclusion that his stage name, Davy Jones, could get him confused with Davy Jones from the Monkees. It was then he decided to change his last name to Bowie after a popular brand of knife at the time. So he went out as David Bowie. He released a solo album, but still, nothing caught on. Then for several weeks in 1967, he lived at a Buddhist monastery in Scotland and he started his own mime troupe known as The Feathers. Then in 1969, he suddenly became inspired to get back into the studio. What happened? Well, he checked into Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey and watched it while he was stoned. And then he's like, I got a great idea for a space oddity. It struck a chord with the public. It was also around the same time as the Apollo 11 moon landing. Around this time, he also met his first wife, Angela Bennett. The two would divorce 10 years later, but together they had a son, Duncan Jones. Following the success of Space Oddity, David released The Man Who Sold the World and Hunky Dory. Then David decided to mix things up and to keep people guessing. He announced to the world, although he was married, he was in fact gay. Following this, he re-emerged as Ziggy Stardust with his band, The Spiders From Mars. His 1972 album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust, was a huge moment in music history. Now this would be an alter ego, he would soon retire, but the man would go on to reinvent himself time and time again. 
and he would continue to stay in the limelight and he would continue to maintain his artistic integrity. He decided to try his hand at acting in the title role of the film The Man Who Fell to Earth. This was in 1976. Then in 1980, Bowie performed on Broadway in The Elephant Man. His next breakout success was with the 1983 album Let's Dance, with the title track as well as Modern Love and China Girl. Then in 1985, he teamed up with his longtime friend and rumored lover Mick Jagger, and together the two would dance in the streets. Busy over the next few decades working as a writer, as a producer, he was also putting out new music and he would also perform. Then in 2004 he had a health scare when he had a heart attack while on stage performing in Germany. In recent years he continued to put out studio albums. In 2013 there was The Next Day. In 2014 his greatest hits titled Nothing Has Changed. In 2015 there was Lazarus and in 2016 Black Star. His final album his producer would go on to state was a gift for his fans. It was a gift for the world. Then on January 10, 2016, it would be announced to the world that David Bowie had succumbed to his battle of liver cancer. He died peacefully at home surrounded by friends and family. And the rest of the story, well you know the story because this is, well, before they were dead. Please leave your prayers and your condolences in the comments down below. Also be sure to check out some other Before They Were Dead I've made on this channel. Tupac Shakur, that's a new one. Osama Bin Laden, I've done that. Also a rapper, Speaker Knockers. On this channel we also do Before They Were Famous, we also do After They Were Famous. Be sure to let me know who you want to hear about next. And uh, yeah, okay, I'll see you guys in another video. Pathetic little fat man, no one's bloody laughing. The clown that no one laughs at, they all just wish he'd die.